this type of thing, bro, this hits home to me for a reason that a lot of people are unaware of. And it just it infuriates me how insensitive people can be and just how how ignorant and selfish people can be. It's been less than a day at the time of me recording this. And obviously, as most of the world, especially the sports world, is aware by now, NFL player DeMar Hamlin suffered from cardiac arrest after getting hit mid game. And he had to be fully resuscitated on field and is still in ICU and who knows how long he will be in ICU and everybody's obviously praying for his recovery. And this is a relatively sensitive thing for me to speak on personally, because if you're unaware, if you came into the channel after, for those that don't know, my brother suffered a cardiac arrest and ventricular fibrillation in his senior year, first game in college, in the middle of the court on a tournament, had to be resuscitated uh, in front of my parents in California. And he is only alive because of the training staff that acted and knew what they were doing in that, in that moment. You prepare for those type of moments as training and medical staff your whole life, hoping that you never have to do it. But if that time ever comes, you are prepared to save a life, just like the Redlands trainers for my brother, and just like the NFL trainers and doctors for DeMar Hamlin. And obviously me and my family and the pretty much the majority of the world who has any common sense is praying for his full recovery. And that is priority number one on most people's minds. But the reason that this video is being made is not because of the similarities with my brother, although that does play a factor into the latter part of this video. And this video is strictly being made, bro, because of just the insensitive nature of some fucking people, bro. Like how, how are you this disassociated from being a normal human being with empathy? And obviously, just like anybody who is aware of the situation probably is fully aware of what Skip Bayless had tweeted. In case you're not, here's the tweet right here. This literally happened. This tweet went out maybe, maybe five, 10 minutes after he was trying to be resuscitated on field when he had no heartbeat, no heartbeat. Skip tweeted this, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Like, what the fuck? This is the thing that you think to say, Skip Bayless? Like, out of all of the things that you could have said, and I get it, I get that people are going to be like, it's not the way it came out is not what he meant. He meant that the regular season and, and all of the outcomes of this game are irrelevant because now what matters the most is the life of the gentleman who was fighting for it on the field collapsed. And me as someone with common sense knows that, but I cannot fucking fathom how a reporter, someone who does this for a living, can fuck up their wording so bad. Let's just say with Kanye, for example. I can read between the lines of what Kanye is saying because he's obviously off his rocker and has never been in front of a camera and been someone who has been an eloquent speaker. He's obviously never been that dude from Sway in the Morning to George Bush doesn't care about black people, yada, yada, yada. That is his, that is his MO. Skip Bayless does this for a living. His words matter for a living. There is no excuse for Skip to be saying some dumb shit like this. Everything before the ellipses right here is so fucking out of touch. And it should have been from the butt to the ellipses. No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Prayers and we are hoping for full recovery. That should have been the whole tweet. That should have been it because you have some empathy and compassion for fellow human beings and you don't give a fuck about sports when someone died on the field. But he went on and said, this late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome? How are they gonna postpone this? Because he's fucking dead on the field. Literally brought him back to life. And it fucking angers me that someone of this magnitude with this reach would say something just so insensitive. At the end of the day, words fucking matter. And Skip Bayless out of everybody should know that the most. Isaiah Thomas, I hope they fire you, bro. For you to even think of the game is very sad. Exactly. This is the most inconsiderate thing you could have said. We are human beings, not just numbers. You obviously never stepped foot in a locker room or been part of a family like this. We are a band of brothers. Get over yourself, man. Praying for Damar and his family. Bro, I guarantee you, NFL players and athletes in general have probably felt trauma from seeing this live. There's a certain brothership that comes with being an athlete. There's certain sacrifices that you have to make as an athlete that the world does not have to, that the non-athlete world doesn't even, aren't even aware of. For you to think about the sport over the person who plays the sport is fucking insane to me. 
Dusty Baker. Come on, Skip. This is a life versus a game. I'm sorry, but this is your worst take ever. What the fuck is wrong with you? A man is fighting for his life. Football doesn't matter right now. Like this guy right here, Brick Sample. What specifically is sick about what he said? Was it the part where he said the game seems so irrelevant compared to Hamlin's health? Or did you even bother to read and comprehend what he said? This is what I'm talking about. The mention of the concern about NFL schedule moving forward shows lack of compassion for a person facing a critical emergency. I hope that was simple enough for you. Robin, good shit. But that's just skip. That's just one of the reasons why I'm upset. But just the humans race in general especially especially fucking conspiracy theories bro and i know that talking to them i'm talking to a fucking brick wall these alex jones motherfuckers but how in the same night are you even talking about this is vaccine related what the fuck a man literally died in front of you on live television and your concern and your first thing that's out of your mouth is this is vaccine related there's no way that a man of this stature and of this physical capability has cardiac arrest. That literally is not true at all. My brother suffered from cardiac arrest at Peath Athletic Conditioning at 22 years old before COVID happened, before the fucking vaccine was even a thought in anybody's mind. Just because these dudes are young and in shape doesn't mean the hit potentially stopped his heart. Doesn't mean that he couldn't have had an episode of V-Fib, ventricular fibrillation, like my brother. There's so many things outside of the vaccine being the problem that are legitimate potential causes. And the first thing that you go to is, oh, the vaccine, it's gotta be. Thank God I didn't get it. Thank God I'm not a sheeple. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Let people grieve. Let people worry about an actual person besides some type of fucking political agenda. Just shut the fuck up. If you want to believe in conspiracy theories, by all means, do so. Bring it up at a later date. Not when a dude is laying there dead on a football field in front of millions of people to, in, to see. That's like me saying, oh, my Second Amendment right allows me to carry that AR-15 that's sitting right there right after the Uvalde school shooting happened right down the street from where I live. That's like these children and teachers getting slain and then me coming on Twitter and being like, well, if one of those fucking teachers had an AR-15, that would have it would have been stopped. Shut the fuck up and grieve with your fellow human being. Be compassionate for one fucking day in your life, please.